hello there, and welcome back to the finale of the Pokemon Y version Nuzlocke. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, and welcome back for episode 25 and the finale. We're about to take on the Elite Four, and I cannot wait to dive in to see what Kalos has to offer against our team we did suffer a death at the end of the last episode which does leave us in a very sticky predicament but i think we got this i think we got this first of all a team recap and to let you know who our final team member is as well first of all we have john the lucario level 65 holding the lucario knight with the steadfast ability the most close combat Earthquake, Calm Mind, and Aura Sphere, with the Hasty Nature. We have Metamech, our starter, the Chestnut, level 65, holding the Poison Barb, the Overgrow ability, the moves Strength, Poison Jab, Seed Bomb, and Leech Seed, with the Quirky Nature. We have Sticky Keys, the Floge, level 65, the Flower Veil ability, the moves Wish, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Grassy Terrain with the Naughty Nature. We have Pram Champ, the Blastoise, level 65, holding the Blastoise Knight with the Torrent ability, the moves Bite, Ice Ice Beam, I don't know why I was about to say Ice Cream, Ice Beam, Surf, and Rain Dance with the Sassy Nature. We have TJ, the Star Raptor, level 65, holding the Sky Plate with the Intimidate ability, Moves Fly, Double Team, Close Combat, and Brave Bird with the Hardy Nature. And our new team member, Satyan, the Tyranitar, holding the Earth Plate, level 64, Sandstream ability. The moves Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch, and Hone Claws with the Bashful Nature. Now, there is something I'm going to change because I don't think there's enough fairy types to really cause any uh, problems with us besides we have other ways of handling that so what I'm going to do right now is actually teach um, Metamech Brick Break I think having that stab fighting move will come in handy especially when we fight the steel type uh, it does mean I'm going to be changing the held item on Metamech as well that's the only thing I didn't do during the off screen grinding for the uh, Elite Four so, what we're going to do now is change your item. But the question is, what are we changing it to? Uh, what do we have that's really worth having? Rocky Helmet could be very nice. Not going to lie. Uh, we've got the Black Belt, which could really boost our... Uh, um, yeah, actually, the Black Belt. We're going for the Black Belt. Gives the uh, Brick Break just that extra oomph. Which could be very useful for us. But that is the squad. We're going to dive in. But first of all, question of the day. What is your favorite moment from this series? That's what I would like to know. For me, the series is still going to... But I do think like having both of my mascots, both a Lucario and a Furret, that's made my day. That's probably my favorite moments from the series. What about you guys? What has your favorite moment from this series been? Uh, the votes are in as well. They've been unanimous that people want me to do um, Ultra Sun, um, Ultra Moon. So that's going to be the next Nuzlocke that will be starting next weekend. Looking forward to that. As far as uh, chronologically right now, I am prepping for the Just Dance stream later tomorrow. I cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to delivering all manner of carnage for that. But right now, we have the Elite Four to beat. With hello there. The Elite Four where you are the Pokemon League. Fire, Water, Steel, and Dragon. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Absolutely. We are ready. Let's freaking go. We have entered... You're the illustrious Grill, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, 
and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her hit, you must defeat all of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The heroine who destroyed Big Bad Team Flair. <laughs> Alright, so. We have... Fire, steel, water, or dragon. I feel like the dragon one's going to be the hardest. I mean, I do have sticky keys for that one. So, that's pro... I ooh. What kind of item can we use to give sticky keys? Uh, anything. I should also look into... See, actually, I want to see if uh, I have the TM for Psychic. I don't remember if I picked it up or not. Be TM to... Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's just something to bear in mind. What is through this door? What's this one? That's the flood chamber. So that's the water one. That's going to be the... This is going to be the fire one, isn't it? Yep. Which means steel or dragon on this side. I think this is the dragon one. Yep, yeah, it's the dragon one. We're gonna So while you normally do the dragon one last in like most Elite Force, we're gonna do the dragon one first. We're gonna fly in with um the main beast that Oh wait, 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 held item, held item. Held item for sticky keys. That's what I was meaning to do. Um What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh if I I don't think I have the pixie plate. Uh, silk scarf, so you build light bulb, that's blah, da, 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 da. Mind plate does uh, psychic, but we don't have psychic. Uh, Rocky helmet, uh, possibly? It's probably the only thing I've got at the moment that could be of any use. Okay. We're giving you the Rocky helmet, I guess. And we're going to dive in. And face the dragon mark chamber. The first of the Elite Four. Let's freaking go. Ooh. I like it. Oh, the wings as well. Yes. How majestic can you get? Okay. Let's freaking go! Oh goodness, hello to you. Welcome, welcome, come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Elite for Drasna. Let's freak. Oh no, this one's a poison dragon. You lead with a poison dragon. That's a problem. That's an annoyance more than a problem. Uh, I think Lucario can handle this. Because it's probably going to go for something like Sludge Bomb turn one. And I know it. this thing gets adaptability. Yeah, it did. I know it gets adaptability. So what I'm going to do instead, straight up, is Mega Evolution Earthquake. Just to get the extra stats rather than the adaptability. The adaptability is not going to help me here. But I know that Earthquake should still do a lot of damage to this thing after Mega Evolving. This is why I have mixed stats so I can go for the mixed attacking style. Okay, we one-shot the Drag Algae. That's good. That's good. You're done. You're done, son. Let's freaking go. Okay, Noivern. I, uh, I think we should be okay to mostly sweep with Flourish from this point. Mostly. I've just got to be careful. Because I know some of them will also have Sludge Bomb and things like that. Ah, uh, let's go Dazzling Gleam. You will outspeed. Go to Air Slash. Don't flinch me. Guess. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. 
Let's go, sticky keys. Okay, that was a crit. I was going to say, this might be a bit easy there, but... Oof. Uh, Altaria. Okay, that's going to be fine. We know we can smash an Altaria to pieces. Moonblast. Just to make sure. Just to make sure we're going Moonblast. I mean, Cotton Guard is a terrifying prospect if we only had physical attackers. Okay, another one shot. That's good. The Gudra is the one that I'm worried about. Because I know this one has a Gudra. Okay, Drudigan is next. I feel confident that I outspeed. Oh, you don't have Gudra. Oh, it must be um, Diantha who has the Gudra. I, I know one of the like, Elite Four or Champion has a Gudra, so. But there you go. First member done. Sticky Keys coming in clutch with that one. Oh dear me, that sure was a quick battle. I do hope you'll come back again sometime. 13,000, but a little. <laughs> oh, you, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Bye! Oh, you're going already? Farewell, then. Oh, dear me. Was I the first to lose to you all? If, you've made, if I've made you feel too confident, that won't get, be very fair to the others. But I suppose you'd best hurry along to that elevator over there to face them for yourself. Charge! Tell it's warping time! Okay. The others aren't going to be as easy. Uh, I think the fire type one I should be able to handle mostly. So we're going to put Prime Champ up front for that. And we're going to fight. Send me to the Blazing Chamber. At once! Fire! This reminds me of the burning, uh, like the flames from The Wizard of Oz. When you're about to meet Oz for the first time. Uh, I'm pretty sure I appreciate the sight of Malva a lot more than The Wizard of Oz. But hey, that's just me. Welcome, Challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. Well, hello there. Bring it on, Malva. Okay, ah, uh, she has a pyro. That's just mean. Okay, Sunny Day Solar Beam is a potential threat here. So what we're going to do is we're going to Rain Dance, turn one. Okay, okay, go some Noble Roar. Ooh, that's a problem. Because that drops my attack stats. Fortunately, Rain Dance. And screw this, we are going to Mega into Surf. I'm, I'm, I'm not messing around here. I am not messing around. I am going all guns blazing to get through these fights. Oh, that, we're now minus two. Oh, my days. Can you not right now? That's not going to kill, is it? It did kill. Interesting. But we're minus two attack and special attack. Okay, Talonflame coming in. I kind of... I, I need to send in Sachin. I'm going to send Sachin for this one. Oh, I was meaning to um, put the X accuracy on. I was meaning to put an X accuracy. I mean, I do have... I think I have one. So I could technically... Technically... Uh, do I have any? I do not have any X accuracies. I should have bought them. So the plan was X accuracy into Stone Edge. If I can land a Stone Edge, oh, I, I have Home Claws as well. That that can work. One, you've got that. You can eat that all day. Stone Edge, and it connects. 
Let's go. The one shot. The quad effective. Okay, Torkoal. It's fine. I'm going to home cause this turn just to get that extra accuracy boost for stun and also the attack boost as well. That's an earthquake. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's not stab. It's not stab, at least. If I connect with Stone Edge, I should kill. Attack boost. Yeah, let's go. Let's freaking go. T-Tar for the win. Little 65 T-Tar now as well. Nice. Who have you got? Who have you got? Chandelure. I think we might have Energy Ball. I feel like I should heal first. I, there's no way I outspeed this. So, And also, we have plenty of healing items, just in case. I think we heal this turn, and then we go for a crunch on turn two. Confuse Ray. Ew. Ew. I don't like this. I don't like this. That's nice bit of chip damage there. Let's go crunch. We'll try a crunch. Yeah, definitely outspeeds me. Fortunately, because of the nature of the Elite Four, I've put a lot of investment in special defense for Tita. We've gone for an attack and special defense build on this thing. Okay, you're done. That's two of them. That's two members of the Elite Four gone. Fantastic. Utterly fantastic. I'll report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am a hollow caster star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Beat the last two members of the Elite Four and you can face the champion. It's warping time! Now. Now comes the, pro the real threat. The water chamber. This is by far the biggest threat to me. Losing my electric type hurt me bad. I'm going to be reliant on Metamech to pull it off. Now, he is my starter. He is a powerhouse starter. But this girl has a Gyarados. This person has a Gyarados. I know it. Which is going to make things very interesting. Well. Ooh, very nice. I like the scene that's been set here. Oh, it is a guy. No, I simply can't say. You there, young lady. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called art? Indeed. You see, cooking is the type of art that disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up of fleeting experiences, that is truly artful. Seabold. He reminds me of Best Genius from uh, My Hero Academia a bit, actually. Okay, Cloetz is your first one. This thing can have Ice Beam. Ew. This thing definitely can have Ice Beam. Okay, Menek, we need you. Seed Bomb. We outspeed. Land the Seed Bomb. Let's freaking go. Didn't kill it. Dragon Pulse, okay. Dragon Pulse isn't... Oh, no, you have Mega Launcher. Uh, ouch. And there's your full restore. Okay. Now we've got a problem. Because that thing did a nasty amount of damage. Sea bomb. Connect, please. Thank you. Okay, we got rid of him. Got rid of the closer. I was amazed he didn't go for Ice Beam. 
Mega Launcher Ice Beam is uh, probably going to have killed Matt Matt there. Prime chance 66, that's good. Lucario to 66, even better. Okay, Starmie's coming in. This is part Psychic. Oh no. Oh no. But what do I have that would even take it down? I'd have to rely on sticky keys. I think. Because uh, that thing will definitely have psychic moves. It definitely has extra sensory. Extra sensory probably kills meta. Uh, I'm going to set up a wish for turn one just in case I need it. Oh, there's the light screen. Great. I mean, at the very least, Moonblast can lower his their special attack. So that could be crucial if I can get a special attack drop. Okay, you go for Surf. We're especially bulky, so we should be able to eat that. Okay, nice. We Moonblast here. We should be back to full strength. That did nothing. But we did get the attack drop. We got the attack drop that we needed. That's nice. That's lovely. Uh, we'll go for one more. You go for a surf again. That's fine. They do not. They they can do nothing to um, Florge. And um, one more Moonblast actually should kill. There's the psychic that I was worried about. Ooh. Okay, that was a crit. I was wondering that. I think the light screen should fade at the end of this turn as well. Okay, what else do you have? There, there's the Gyarados. There's the Gyarados. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm very worried about this thing. Okay, Intimidate. Ugh. I'm going to Leech Seed you turn one. Ice Fang! Crap baskets. And it avoided the Leech Seed. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, we, we definitely resist the... Uh, okay, we resist any water moves. They're going for Dragon Dance now? Oh, hells no! This is a problem. I need to connect with Leech Seed. Oh, that's a Dragon Danced Ice Bang. Okay. A little bit of chip damage. A little bit of chip damage. That still did way too much damage to me, though. How much can the Seed Bomb do? We are minus attack, though. That's the biggest problem. Being minus attacked. And that's now a plus two Gyarados. Oh, we're doing nothing to it. We're doing absolutely nothing to that thing. I think another Seed Bomb Lead Seed might kill. As long as they don't crit it. Okay. I'm still minus attacked, which is the problem. We'll have to switch out. Yes, Lead Seed. Lead Seed, kill it. Lead Seed, kill it. Lead Seed, kill it. Let's go. That was 100% the biggest threat on the field. Barbarical, you are water and rock. John should be able to handle it. I think. If I Mega and go for Aura Sphere, or, um, so now this thing gets tough, but so let's go Mega, we'll Aura Sphere. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's physical defense is a lot higher than special, so we should be able to put this thing down, hopefully. Kamehame! <sighs> One shot, no problem whatsoever. Down it goes. Seabold is defeated. Yes. Devote yourself entirely. So even that which will fade and disappear is ingrained forever upon your heart and mind. 
That is the only fate for any human. There is only one course remaining in your Pokemon League banquet. Devour it with the hunger for strength. Savor it without leaving a scrap behind. Uh, immediately heal. Uh, there they are. Boom. Now, of course, we do have one last battle after the champion. Uh, because there's a fight against AZ. It doesn't technically count towards the Nuzlocke itself, but that's how we will wrap it up if we do get that far. Hopefully we do. Because now we have the Steel type. And the Steel type is an issue. I don't have my fire type. I have Metamet. I have Lucario. It, it, mm, you're a bit of a worry. TJ might come in there. I just don't know which types you... Oh, you've got an Aegislash. You've got an Aegislash. I'm pretty certain they have an Aegislash. Oh god, this is a problem. This could be a real problem. I don't have any protective moves. Well, good luck to us, I guess. It's time to fight the knight himself. Well met, young challenger. Verily am I the Elite Four's famed blade of hardened steel, Vikstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honourable. Ready? On guard! Okay, the last of the Elite Four members. Let's go. You are challenged by Vikstrom, who has Klefki as his first Pokemon. Why? Why Klefki? The Steel Fairy type. The one Steel Fairy type you have. This is to set up screens and all that. And you have Torment. Okay, Torment's not an issue. I'm happy not to worry about that because I will just Leech Seed you instead. The issue is taking down the Clef key afterwards. Brick Break's going to be neutral. Spikes. This is where getting rid of Rapid Spin was an issue. That took a lot of damage. Although, I mean, I think the... You know, I think Seed Bomb will kill it this time. He's gone for the full restore. Of course he did. Torment will wear off after a few turns. I just need to keep an eye out for when that does. Okay, nice. Leech Seed recovery. Remember, this thing gets Prankster, so any like status moves will be priority for it. Oh, oh that's actually super effective as well. Yep, that was super effective. And we didn't get the kill, but I think we do this turn with the Leech Seed, yeah. Should probably heal, um, Metamet. Let's go, Sticky Keys. And there's the Age of Slash. I'm worried about how we take this. This has unbelievable attack and defense. But, uh, attack or defense, depending on which form it's in. I have to heal first turn. No matter what, we're healing, because I don't think we take a hit at this form. Our fighting moves aren't uh, going to affect it either. Okay, you go for stance change. Iron Head, that's resisted, I think. It's not resisted. I, th I thought for a moment that fighting might resist it, but never mind. Wait, of course it doesn't. I'll take that. The big thing I'm going to take from that, though, is while you're in that form, your defense is only... No, 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 no. Oh, thank God for Torment. <laughs> uh, we're going to go for Seed Bomb. It will be resisted. But while your defenses are down, we might actually be able to do some damage to this thing. 
Yeah, that's not very effective and still does a good chunk. I can't risk a crit. I cannot risk a crit against this thing. There's another Iron Head. I'm enjoying the chip damage, though. Wait, I'm going to be afflicted by Torment, aren't I? Come on. If you're going for King's Shield, if my attack doesn't affect you, will I still take the stat drop? I don't. That's amazing. Problem is, now you have like 150 um, defenses in this form. So we go for a Seed Bomb. There's the freaking Fall Restore! That's going to do nothing to it as well. You have stance change. So, Earthquake would do a lot. Problem is, it'll have Sacred Sword, so Lucario's out. And so is Tyranitar. They are my Earthquake Mons. Um, but I could switch out. But then, who would I switch out to? No one could really take... The, I mean, Prime Champ maybe could take a few hits? I'm pretty sure we resist Steel as well, so... I just need to be able to, uh... Oh, wait, yo, you have spikes, don't you? Hmm. Okay, we eat that. Okay, I'm gonna try a Surf. Actually, Bite will be neutral as well. May maybe even get a flinch on this thing. Uh, we're gonna... Actually, no. Surf's got more chance of doing damage. So, I'm gonna go for the Surf this turn. We're not going to be afflicted by Torment because the uh, thing's down. You have Trash Defense in this form. There you go. Age of Slash gone. Biggest threat on the field. Defeated. Probo Pass. That is Rock Seal. Yeah, we can stay in with um, Prime Champ. Surf again. Let's go, Mega Blastoise. Sturdy. Oh, I was going to say... You have Discharge on that thing? He's got the para. Bro. That is uncalled for. Okay, got rid of it. It's fine. We defeated the the Mustache Man. Man, I meant to six That's good. Sizzle. Ooh, actually, Sizzle's a problem. Sizzle's a big problem. I mean, Flying? Hit me out here. Flying's neutral. And we get the Intimidate. If it's a Mega Sizzle, though, I could double team. Please live, TJ. Okay, one more. One more double team. Then we heal. And then we go for it. Come on, we got this. We got this, fam. Come on, TJ. This is your debut in the Elite Four. You know you can do this. There we go. We avoid it. Now we fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can destroy the sizzle. Ooh, not quite. It connects with Iron Head this turn. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure Brave Bird kills at this point. Whoa, what's going on here? So I just dropped down to like 18% speed for a second. Like, wait, what? Why? But it's okay. We got this. We got this. TJ pulls off the win. And now, we've beaten all four members of Elite Four. We have the champion to fight. And then we have uh, Ancient King AZ. 
to uh, fight. I don't know what Diantha leads with. That's my next issue. I have no idea what she leads with. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a Gudra, there's the two fossils, there's God of War, I want to say in there. So I feel like leading Lucario is a good option. But, but, we shall see. Because I, I don't know what else she has. I'm not sure what else she has. Either way, here we are in the Radiant Chamber to fight Diantha. Let's go. Ooh. Champion fight time. Let's go. Time to take on Deantha. Does she have a Deancy? Oh, how Lucha is your first Pokemon. Lucario was not the right lead for this. Ah, uh, Sticky Keys? Sticky... I feel like Sticky Keys is the one here. Because you're probably going to go for a fighting type move there, so we should eat that up. Right? Swords Dance. That's a problem. That's a problem. We could lose Sticky here. Yeah, we've lost Sticky big time. Sticky's dead. Sticky does not... I stand corrected. Sticky keys with the survival. Let's freaking go. Alright, who else do you have now? Okay, Tyrantrum, Rock Dragon. See, I want to stay in here. I want to stay. I want to stay in and heal. In fact, I want to stay in and heal. Um, the only issue I have is what moves this thing has. So I know it has Outrage. I know it'll have like Stone Edge, Head Smash. Ooh, that's gonna be new. Okay. And there's recoil damage as well. Wow. I don't know. I don't think I outspeed it. I really don't. So I'm healing again. If it goes a head smash, it kills itself. Yeah. There's the rocky helmet damage. And there's the recoil damage. So rocky helmet was actually a good choice on uh, Forge. Yeah, you're done. You're done, son. TJ Sixon, yeah, that's fine. Aurorus. Okay, this one I'll switch. Uh, I feel like John Lucario because fighting is quite effective. Uh, screw this. We are mega evolving with close combat. I'm taking no chances in this fight. Okay, Lucario, let's freaking go. Unleash the beast. One shot. Because that's how we do what we do. Gudra's coming in next. That's the dragon that I was worried about. I have Ice Beam on Prime Champ. But I'm worried about them having a grass type move. I mean, he has Sap Zipper. It might have a grass type move. And I can't Mega Evolve Prime Champ. I could use this opportunity to heal um, Florsh, actually. Sticky. 
Dragon Pulse, okay. How much does that do to us? No, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, well, Ice Beam. Definitely glad for the special defense build on uh, Blastoise right now. Doesn't do a lot. I wouldn't mind some freeze hacks, though. Some freeze hacks would be really appreciated right now. I'm just saying. Okay, one more Ice Beam would kill. I don't know if we live a... Um, I mean, we do live one, but we won't live a crit. I think a crit, a crit definitely kills. So we heal this time. There goes the Dragon Pulse. Should be able to take this down next turn, which will leave the... Uh, okay, she'll have two more after this. I know that her Gardevoir is her race. Her Mega Gardevoir is her race. Okay, Gudra is gone. That was threatening. What's your other Pokemon then? Is it a uh, carbink? Gore guys. Okay, grass and ghost. TJ, let's go, TJ. TJ getting some uh, use in the elite four. Let's go. All right, you're probably gonna try and go for trick or treat or something. So we'll fly. We'll just escape that. I'll go see my mistake. Oh. Went straight in for the attack. One shot to the Gorgeist. Let's go. Goodbye. Which leads you with the Gardevoir. Now, it's risky because this is part fairy, and obviously we're weak to fairy, but it's a special attacker, and I have full investment in my special defense. If I home claws turn one, and then go for crunch, okay, you've got you've traced, and we have sandstorm. Here comes the mega. Here comes the mega. Oh god, if you have focus blast, I'm dead. I just realized. Moon blast. That's with full. That's with max. Special defense. Oh my. Oh my. And it outspeeds. I have to heal. I have to heal. I need to wait for an opportunity where it doesn't actually attack me that turn. Moonblast. Which I don't think is going to happen. There's 15 PP for Moonblast as well. Oh. I mean, I could technically heal stall it. I just need an opening. One opening and I can go... Ah, oh, Crunchy's going to be neutral, isn't it? So I would have to go Stone Edge. Stone Edge is neutral. Hang I mean, it's doing 110 damage. It's doing exactly 110 damage. I have one boost on my uh, accuracy. I could risk it and go for Stone Edge. I can't, no. That did exactly half. So the 110 was a low roll. 116 is usual, which is exactly 50% of my health. I have to wait. I guess I have to wait for it to low roll then. Oh god, that did even more. And it's going to do even more because uh, Sand Street, Sandstorm boosted my Spadef. Oh no. This is a problem. This is going to do a lot more, I feel. It ah! Crit. There you go. I was worried about that. I was very worried about that. Um... How do we take this thing down? If I had a steel type move, I would consider Lucario. I'm going to wish turn one. It 
it might actually come down to uh, this. No, 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 didn't mean to use it again. Frick. Didn't mean to use it again. Moonblast. That's where I meant to switch to Moonblast. That could cost me dearly. We've got a special attack drop, though. Okay, I feel confident that we kill. Um, I, I'm confident we survived this one. Yeah, we do. Okay. That is done. That effectively... That is the Nuzlocke completed. We've won the Nuzlocke. There was the death. But, hey, we won. And that leaves us now with just the fight with AZ to do. So, in essence, I am going to put speed up on this while we um, face this. Um, let's go up to 300%. Yep, okay. Lucario, Blastoise, Chestnut, Florge, TJ. Titar got me most of the way through this. We did suffer that last death in the champion fight, but there you go. Okay, we are through the Nuzlocke. Let's go. And you're so proud. Kill. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I want to know what a trainer is. Here we go, boys! Turkoon! Versus Lucario! Ooh, you're level 60. Mega with Earthquake. Come on, Lucario, you've got this, fam. You've got this. Earthquake! Down he goes. All right, what else do you have? Sigilith. Uh, okay, we switch that. Um, Sigilith's a problem, actually. Because, obviously, Sachim is dead, so I can't use him. So we'll go to TJ instead. Sigilith is my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon as well. It is a fun little Pokemon to use. Oh, not when it's using cosmic power, though. But not to fight against, at least. Oh, wow, we did a lot of damage there. Another cosmic power. I think Brave Bird kills, though. I think Brave Bird still kills this turn. <laughs> Okay, Sigilef is done. You have one more Pokemon, my dude. What is it? What is your last Mon? Golurk. Uh, Ground and Ghost. You know what? It's going to be fitting. We're going to finish this fight with us. Finish the Nuzlocke with the Pokemon that started the Nuzlocke. Metamech. You've got this, fam. Cedar Bomb! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Nuzlocke. Thank you all so much for your amazing support throughout this entire series. I really, really appreciate it. I have been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. As far as next things on the channel, we have Pokemon uh, either Ultra Sword or Ultra Moon. I haven't decided between the two yet. Uh, that's going to start next week. 
We have the Pokemon Uranium Soul Randomized Soul Link coming on as well. And we have plenty of stuff on Twitch as well. Make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash SSB Lucario. We have, uh, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with everything to do with me and the channels. At JohnBT underscore saying that's underneath my face cam here. And all other social medias are in the description below. You can also grab yourself some merch as well. Uh, follow the link onto the Teespring website. Um, and you can join the Discord server, the Lucario Lounge. If you just search for that on Discord and you'll be able to find it and hop on in. And we finished this man getting his Floet back. But well, that's everything for me. So until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.